Now, something that we've been hiding from you is that in Python, essentially everything is an object with its own set of attributes and methods. So let's talk a bit about Python and objects. We know now that the dir function can tell us the attributes and methods associated with an object. And I just said that essentially everything is an object. So let's put this to the test. Let's create a string and maybe it's just hello there. And now let's use that dir function and provide to it the identifier s, which we know is a string, and see what's there. And wow, you know, there are a huge number of things there. And this is all being provided by Python. Let's check out some of these things. So notice that one of the things in here toward the end of this list is upper. And we could actually use the help function. And let's say, help, what can you tell us about s dot upper? And it says that it returns a copy of the string s converted to uppercase. So let's try that. Let's put s dot upper. And this is a method or function. And sure enough, there's the string hello there, all in uppercase. Our original string is unchanged. In that list that dir provided, there was also something called replace. Let's see what help has to say about that. Help, what can you tell us about s.replace? And this says it will return a copy of the string s with all occurrences of the substring old, which would be the first argument to replace, replaced by new, which is the second argument. Let's check that out. So here's our original string, hello there. And let's try s.replace. Let's give the string e and say replace that with the string whatever. Oh, oh, let's go with that. And now we get this rather strange looking string with the e's replaced by two o's. Our original string, though, is unchanged. There was another thing in that list that dir provided, and it was count. So let's see what help has to say about count. And it says this returns the number of non-overlapping occurrences of the substring in the string. And we could give optional arguments specifying where in the string we want to start and end. But let's not do that. Let's just say s dot count how many e's are there in u. And it says there are three. And if we go back and look at what s is, sure enough, there are three lowercase e's. Let's try that method again, but maybe put an uppercase e. And now it says there are zero uppercase e's. One more, how about ELL? How many occurrences of that are there? And there's one occurrence. OK, so a string clearly has lots of methods associated with it. But what about an integer, a number like 21? Could that possibly have any methods or attributes associated with it? Well, let's check it out. Let's put dir 21 and hitting return. Wow. Again, there's a whole lot of stuff associated with just an integer. When we look around here, we see one of the strings in this list is bit length. And can we get some help on that? And yes, we can, but we have to be a little bit careful. If we just wrote 21 and then dot, it starts to look like a float. So I'm going to go back and erase that 21. And I'll enclose the 21 in parentheses and then put dot bit length. So we don't want that access attribute operator to look like a decimal point within a number. And by enclosing the 21 in parentheses, we accomplish that. This says that the bit length method will return the number of bits necessary to represent self in binary to represent whatever this number is in binary. This also mentions in here the bin function. There is a built in function called bin that will give us the binary representation of an integer. So let's see what it has to say about 21. And we can ignore that leading 0b. And this says the binary representation of the decimal number 21 is 10101. So there are five bits necessary to represent this number. How about if we said now 21, we are going to call your bit length method, and it says five bits are needed to represent this number. 
So now that we know that essentially everything in Python is an object and that Python will provide lots of methods to help us use some of these objects, we'll start to exploit some of that power.